What's up homies, this is Jokesta back at you with a brand new video. Now today we're gonna be talking about the top 10 weapons this season. Now there was a little bit of an update this morning and I had to scramble with Signo's team and actually try to figure this out. And apparently there's a new meta weapon in town and it's a submachine gun. So you guys stay tuned. You guys are gonna find out what weapon that is. Also, why not subscribe to the channel? That way you guys get alerted on the best gunsmith builds out there and that you can actually use in your games. And also we're gonna be making another top 10 video pretty soon, so make sure to hit that sub. That way you get alerted when the next one comes out. All right, let's get right into it. Now this isn't just some list. This is a very well thought out list because I actually went to Signal Discord and the GE Familia they all decided to help me out on this list to make it super accurate as much as possible. Now, I'm gonna explain some things. In this top 10 list, there's gonna be some weapons that are ranked the same level. So for example, let's say there's a weapon that is ranked eight on the list. Not only that that weapon will be there, but some other weapons that are also ranked at that level. So instead of saying one weapon, there could be a few more weapons alongside with that ranking. I want to recommend you guys a, a video editing software called Femora. Femora is super easy, super understandable, and you guys can actually learn a lot from it. There's motion tracking inside Filmora. So all you have to do is place this tracker right on top of your character and it tracks it for you. And then you can actually put a text right on top of the tracker and it basically follows the guy as the video goes on. And it's super cool. So you can also go to your elements. You can also put a boom effect right after that kill. So it looks so much better. I also got a tomahawk kill. So I put that fire thing right on that. And that way, whenever I got that kill, it pops up. Also, let's add some transitions. So you can chop up your clip and you can put that transition right in between your video. And now look at that, boom, right onto an, another action. So you can also go into an elements and you can add some KO. You can also go to color correction. There's so much cool stuff. And you guys can actually click the link below to try Filmora for free. This video is going to be mostly about assault weapons, submachine guns, LMGs. I'm going to be making a separate video for sniper rifles, marksman rifles, and shotguns. Those are going to be a separate video, so just a little disclaimer. So the top 10 on the list is the LK and the KM44. These two weapons are kind of on the same tier level right now. They're like, you know back to back and that's why they're in the top 10 at the same equal level so if you want to have a nice gun to play around with definitely try picking up the LK or the KN44 now I also included the gunsmith build in here as well so you guys can actually pause the video and copy this gunsmith and put it on your loadout so definitely uh, get those guns in try them out see if you like them if not uh, definitely replace them with something else and uh, yeah so the KN44 is actually quite good in this season i've actually enjoyed playing with it but it's currently there's other weapons that kind of outgun this so it's like is it really worth using the kn44 or the lk24 but i had to put it in there because it is the top 10 weapon and so this is the kn44 gunsmith that i have on this build next on the list is the msmc now originally it was supposed to be the qxr but as of this late update um the qx are kind of getting nerfed and it's not getting on the top 10 anymore so i replaced it with the msmc and it's so much better i actually think that the msmc might be one of those weapons that we might replace the qxr with it has a really decent range and it shoots pretty fast not gonna lie like if you guys are watching this gameplay you're, you're probably wondering like okay i think i might give the msmc a shot and the reason why i think you guys should definitely get a, a give it a shot is because the build that i'm actually running i don't feel the recoil like i honestly don't feel it maybe it's because i'm using gyro but this build really helps out a lot with my aim and it's pretty good i definitely recommend you guys to try it out so this is the gunsmith that i'm actually currently using give it a shot next on the list is the type 25 now when they told me that the type 25 is on the list i was actually surprised i was like wow the type 25 is really underrated and i should actually pay more attention to the type 25. i might make some videos on it because there was a few videos that i made with the type and i was like man maybe it's not the meta maybe it's, it is maybe it's a good weapon but it's actually quite good it does a lot of things that we all want the assault weapons to do and it's sort of like a submachine gun and an assault weapon together so it's really good 
I just never really thought about using the Type 25 until now. Like I used to use Type 25 back then in previous seasons, but it's it's pretty good. I definitely recommend you guys to try it out now. It's top eight on the list. That says something. That says a lot. So this is the gunsmith recommended to me. Now the next weapon on the list is the BK-57. This weapon is incredible. If you haven't seen my video where I dropped 30 kills in Search and Destroy, then you have to pause this video and go watch it. It's really good. I highly recommend you guys to try the BK. I think it's really underrated. I don't see people using the BK. I don't know why. Is it because it's too heavy? Maybe it is. It's just not a lot of people really find it interesting. But I definitely recommend you guys to try it out. And it's definitely made it on the top seven on the list. So uh, if you have a chance, try out this gunsmith build. I've tried it in this game. As you guys can see, I'm actually dropping a lot of kills. And so far, I have no issues with the BK. I just feel like the weapon itself is quite heavy as an assault weapon. But anyways, this is the gunsmith build that is recommended. Give it a shot. Moving up on the list is Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper is actually quite solid, but just like the BK-57, the Peacekeeper is underrated. Not a lot of people know about it, and I'm out here giving you guys a little heads up that the Peacekeeper is quite good. And the thing is, you can also strafe with the Peacekeeper. Basically, when you shoot with this weapon, you can move to the left and right, basically melt players left and right. Here's the gunsmith for the Peacekeeper. Also honorable mention is the Razorback. The Razorback is quite good as well and apparently not a lot of people know about it and it has a really good range. And the funny thing is you have to have a really good aim if you want to like dominate with the Razorback. So I might actually make a video on the Razorback eventually in the future. But as of right now, I'm just letting you guys know that the Razorback is on the top six spot as an honorable mentions. This is the gunsmith build recommended for the Razorback. Next on the list is the AS Val. The AS Val is top five on this list, but it's definitely the number one assault weapon on this list because the AS Val is more of a CQB type of weapon. Basically, it's good for respawns, dominations, uh, hard points. So if you're looking for something like fast action pace type of gun, this is the weapon for you. Now there is Peacekeeper, there is the LK, there is a BK-57. Those weapons, you have to like play a little bit differently. Like basically, it's good for range, but when it comes to close range, like the submachine guns, you're gonna be struggling a lot. Now the AS Val handles that so well when it comes to submachine guns running towards it, and you can literally melt players with the AS Val. Now this is the Gunsmith recommended. Definitely give it a shot. Next on the list is the Bison. Now, I would have put this Bison on top, like maybe top three at least, but now that the new update came out today, like literally there was an update that came out today and they adjusted some weapons. They buffed another submachine gun and I'm actually really excited about this because this is going to be the meta in just a moment. But after they updated this, the Bison, the PP-19 dropped down to top number four and we have a new crown that's gonna be taken over in the season for sure that's gonna be taking over everything you guys are gonna see uh, but overall the pp19 is a pretty solid weapon if you're looking for something that's good for domination and hard point then go with the pp19 it's good it's very good i highly recommend it this is the build that was provided next up on the list is the qq9 man i love this weapon i actually love it it's quite good and the build that i have right now has barely any recoil like especially if you're a gyroscope player you don't have any issues with it and i don't i literally have been kicking butts with the qq9 i'm kind of getting used to it right now so the more i play with it the more i'm comfortable with running around with it and i do recommend you guys to switch up your qq9 try this build out because it's actually quite quite good i have noticed that a lot of people are actually using the qq9 in rank matches now so it's kind of like being very very popular and i'm actually happy that everyone's moving on to that weapon because there is a new weapon in town and i want you guys to be alerted on that so this is the gunsmith for the qq9 so the next weapon is the fennec now the fennec is really really good this update just recently came out and it's a small little tiny update but when i looked at the stats for the uh, fennec i was just impressed i was like what the heck the fennec is insane it's actually got a big buff and i highly recommend you guys to try it out apparently uh signal discord they messaged me they were like hey jokesta do not make your video do not complete it yet there's a new king in town and it's the fennec 
And I was like, wait, a Fennec is in town? And they're like, yeah, it's better than the QQ9 and the other weapons. Go, go give it a shot. And guess what? They gave me the gunsmith and they were like, hey, what do you think? I'm like, man, I think this is great. So definitely try out this Fennec. This is the build that I'm currently using. And uh, next on the list is the Holger. The Holger is the top number one weapon on this list. It's the only weapon that actually kind of makes sense. Like, you know, it, it dominates submachine gun players, dominates assault weapon players. But the only downside for a player like me that's just plays a lot of fast pace and uh, high mobility type of player, I like running around with weapons and this weapon is quite heavy for me and in general it just feels like like uh like the chopper you know it's a it's a heavy lmg in my opinion so this is the gunsmith that's recommended for the holder now a lot of you guys are probably going to be wondering about the drh the ak117 the asm so the ak117 it kills too slow apparently and has an unpredictable recoil so you can't really be pinpoint accurate with it and the AR type of mobility with the SMG ranges. It's now a four meter to four shots and around 21 meters to five shots. That's really bad. And it also kind of has the worst range in ARs. The DRH is another one and it is a three shot weapon, which is three shots when you hit the chest multipliers. So the bigger issues with them is that the lower the chest is covered by hand, which makes it only the upper chest, neck or head being the regions you need to hit to get those three shots to kill. So most of these fire rates is very slow, meaning it's very punishing if you miss your shots with the DRH. It feels good, but the build aim down sight time is slow. And if you don't hit that extremely difficult multiplier, then the TTK drops from above average to very bad. That is the worst in the game. If you want the best three shot AR right now, it has to compete with the SMGs. And in this meta where SMG strafes are so fast, and so less punishing, the three shots have really no place. So that is why the DRH and the AK-117 are not on this list. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.